What's going on, guys? We're getting ready to shake things up a lot more than I've already shook things up. So I've moved and I am loving this place. Everyone is super nice. I think I'm going to be here a while. But I want to talk to you guys. I saw a comment. And this is from someone who will never be a millionaire. Let me go ahead and start at the beginning. I want you to go to Amazon and get this book. It's called Rework. R-E-W-O-R-K. Rework. I want you to get that book. And it is a great book for anyone who wants to start a business. Great book. And this person made this comment. If I was a millionaire, I wouldn't be out here. Millionaires should have people handling this. All right. This is from someone who has never hired anyone. This is from someone who doesn't know how hard it is to hire good, quality, capable people. It is very, very hard. And I knew nothing about the car business. So I'm going to take my first year in the car business because I haven't talked about this to learn the car business. What I'm working on this month and next month in December is utilization. And how can I hire someone to do something I don't know how to do? I'm going to tell you a story. And this is one of the dangers of hiring people. I hired someone to do our eBay listings and we really didn't vet her. We didn't vet her. And what she was doing was listing for two hours and for the other six hours, she was working on her business. This is the kind of stuff that you will run into time and time again when you start a business. So I want to talk about the reality is there are some of you who will become millionaires. You're willing to do the work. You have no illusions. You have no fantasies. You're willing to roll up your sleeves and do the work. But there are some of you out here who have these felonious notions of what it is to be a millionaire. And that's going to be the main reason that you will never be a millionaire, because many of you feel that if you're a millionaire, you don't have to do work. You could just hire someone. Talk to all of my business owners who have have staff, who've hired people, and they're going to look at you like you got three heads and you crazy. Hiring is one of the hardest things you can do. And today I was getting a new uh, insurance policy and I was talking about insurance for employees and how we're going to do that. And many of you will never, ever be a millionaire because one, you don't live in reality. You don't live in reality. You have these notions. I call them social media love and hip hop notions that you could just do this, wave your hand, get all this money, have all this free time, just hang out with Big Booty Betty, Baby Bamboo, and do all that other stuff. And the reality, you know, if I hired someone to run this car business, I wouldn't know what I know about the car business. And that's, that's dangerous to have a business that you know nothing about. That is dangerous. You, you will, not if, you will be taken advantage of, people will play games with you, and people will mess up your business. So that's the big reason that most of you will never be millionaires, because you have unrealistic expectations. Unrealistic expectations, unrealistic um, viewpoints of what it is to be rich. And for me, being rich is freedom. I get to do what I want to do. Today I, I worked. I'm a working millionaire. And a lot of y'all don't understand that. Many of you feel that once you hit that million mark, you're going to be able to chill and sleep in. I'm going to tell you why if you are an authentic entrepreneur who made a million dollars and became a millionaire, why are you going to keep working? The game. You're going to try to keep stacking. See, this is one of the things that many women have problems with when they're with highly successful men. This dude doesn't have time to sit around and listen to their bullshit. He got people to see, ploys to manage, things to do, projects to work on. He just don't have time to just sit up under you. And this is why you typically see 
a lot of wealthy men with plain to average low maintenance women in their lives. Because typically, I, I got stories, but I will say those for the Lost Kings. Um, one of the things that you guys have got to understand, and we're, we're gonna have this conversation. I am getting ready to launch a lot of training, okay? And I have a confession to make. Not the confession that you think, but I built the corporate papers wrong. Um, I've been talking to my students and uh, I've got a lot of people in there who, who have not started their first LLC. They haven't set up their holding company. And the reason is me. The reason is me. That's my fault. I should have pushed really starting your first company. I should have pushed that because that's how I did it. I started my first company, got it up and running before I started my second company. And one of the things that you guys have got to understand and appreciate about building businesses, the reality of it, because like this young man is like, you won't catch me out there like a millionaire. He will never, ever be a millionaire because he thinks being a millionaire means you got to stop working. You can just go out and hire people, first of all. And we're, we're going to be talking about this. So what I'm getting ready to do is readjust the training. Everyone that's in the corporate papers, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing over there. But for all of the people who are in that beginning stage, I am getting ready to launch beginning training. And what is that? I'm going to teach you what I, how I got started. I'm going to, I'm going to teach you resale. I'm going to teach you service businesses. Uh, I'm getting ready to readjust the training and the training is, is a price appropriately. So even if you're kind of struggling, you can get into this and the link will be below. So what we're going to do is create a collective of beginning business owners. Now, once again, let's talk about it. a lot of y'all want to do what I do. Um, that's a tough road. That is a tough road. This is not something, you know, it took me years to build this. Years. I didn't build this in a few months. I didn't build it in a few weeks. It took me years. And this is much to the dismay of all of the people who, who leave all these comments and stuff. It's like, why are you still on YouTube? Because I built this bitch. I ain't going nowhere. See, and this should be a good example of when you build a durable business, it's just not going to fall apart. I got all kinds of controversies. I got all these nameless chumps, nameless bitches with these small ass YouTube channels who want to use my name so they can get a little clout. And I'm going to tell you, if you don't have a gossip channel, it's going to backfire on you. I'm just put that out there. And they want to talk to me. You know what I'm doing? Let me tell you what I did today. I got up this morning. I rented out four cars. I washed some cars. I took some cars. I'm waiting to get some cars. I, I didn't get off until 6 p.m. I was working. You think I'm going to sit around on the YouTubes and watch clowns, fools, and nobodies. These people are nobodies. Nobody knows them. And once this thing is going to die down, and many people's like, it ain't going to die down. We're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it going. Really? Remember Michael Jackson and the little stuff with the kids? That died down. And they hauled Michael in to look at his penis. So that died. It's going to die down. It's just a matter of time. And actually, for the Lost Kings, it's really died down because they YouTube removed that video. And uh, what I'm going to keep doing is just working. I'm going to keep working. While all these fools, clowns, and people with their ideals and all this other stuff, because I have folks who are like, they're doing videos as if they're, I'm watching them. Like, I'm not watching, I don't have time to watch this BS. I got businesses to run. I have Savage Consulting Services, Mac Daddy Assets, Mac Daddy Autos, Cameron Media Arts, and I got to I'm, I'm working on some other stuff. So I got like six companies to run. I don't have time like someone 
in a robe to be on YouTube all day. I don't know what that dude does. I have no clue. I have no clue. And once again, I said I wouldn't mention his name. I'm not mentioning his name. But y'all know who I'm talking about in the robe. He got all day to be on YouTube, to be talking smack, to hang out with folks. I don't know. I don't know. But so what we're going to do is we're going to work on getting people up to speed. Uh, I've, I've seen, you know, since, you know, you're in the corporate papers. Thank you. I appreciate you talking to me because it's just going to make it much better for the folks who are coming after you. Um, because the corporate papers, like this is what I did. I am reactivating Hustlers Kung Fu. Hustlers Kung Fu is going to be undergrad and the corporate papers is going to be grad school. So the corporate papers is like $4,500 right now. Uh, if you ain't in it, you can't get in it cheap. And I would advise you if you don't have a business that's up and running and making money, not to enjoy. If you are not making money, if you're not rolling hard, I would advise you not to join the corporate papers. Because, like I said, I, I built, I got to take accountability. I built it wrong because I have a lot of students who jumped in and they got mesmerized by the ideal of being a corporate citizen and they don't have their first business. So we're, you know, probably now because I moved. This move took me like four and a half weeks. And I still got a lot of stuff to do, but it's slowly tampering down. So um, what we're going to do is teach beginners business. And that's some of the new curriculum because uh, I got a lot of really good content and training that I just hit because I wanted to push the corporate papers. So now I'm going to start pushing Hustlers University and we're going to get into hustles. We're going to get into a lot of different content. I'm going to bring on different guests. I'm going to it, it's going to be very different. It's going to be very, very different. Uh, what we're going to do to situate to set this up. And for all of you new people, let me tell you something. I've been looking at y'all, especially with Instagram. And this is something that's funny. I put up a post dissing everyone that was dissing, dissing me. And Instagram took it down. People leaving all of these disrespectful comments. That's cool. But for me to say, I didn't point anyone out. I just said something and the Dusty Dusties reported it. And Instagram took down my Instagram page because of that post. I'm sitting there like, hmm, but guess what? <laughs> I got another Instagram page <laughs> that the Dusty Dusties don't even know about. <laughs> and I'm going to start posting on that one and I'm going to create another one. So it, it's kind of funny. But for all you folks who, who want me to fail. Bless him. Bless your little hearts, because I'm not going to fail. I had a heart attack and I came back bigger, deafer and doper and made way more money. See what a lot of you weak. Well, let me talk out to the weak, moist men. I'm about to say something. If y'all had saw this 17 year old, you would have tried to fuck her too. If you're going to be real about it. So all of this fake outrage, fake morality, you do shit every day. That's wrong. You lie to people. You don't hold yourself accountable. You, it, for some reason you feel like, yeah, we're going to be on this. We're going to be on this. I'm laughing at you guys. I'm going to be laughing at you guys to the bank. So, and for you women, oh my God. There have been so many chicks who have left comments on each channel and Instagram and the comments were edited. And I'm like, boo, you ain't my type. I don't want you. It's kind of funny. And oh, People hate it when you delete their comments because they they're so vested in these comments. It's, it's cracking me up. I, honestly, I delete them now for fun because I know that they're going to get triggered because I deleted their comment. Yep. Oh, he's deleting comments. Delete, delete, delete. Hey, and uh, I want to say something else. Edward Anderson. 
Alan Roger Curry. And someone who talked to me, who, who asked to keep our communications private, so I'm gonna respect that. But all of my real dudes stood the line. Stood the line. And there's one individual who actually, who I've like, you know, I've never met this individual, and I'm glad I never met this individual because that individual is an opportunist. And Honestly, I'm glad all this happened because it revealed to me who my true support system is. And shout out to all of you guys who support Glendon Cameron. Shout out to all of you who've been duking it up with the dusty dusties in the comments. I've been watching y'all. Y'all been giving it to them and they're like, it's just crazy. All these predophiles, these predators to be, they're supporting this guy. See? What the new folks don't know is I have a pedigree. I have a resume. I have a story. I have a history. I've helped thousands of people start businesses. And these thousands of people like, you know, yeah, he fucked a 17 year. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. This motherfucker put money in my pocket. Fuck y'all if y'all don't like him. I'm still riding with Glendon Cameron. And that just pisses the unaccomplished, unwashed masses. Because here's the thing. That video was designed to trigger everyone. But you know who's leaving the comments? Broke busters. Broke bitches. You know why? Because they got the time. Productive and, and people who are engaged, who are building stuff, they don't have time to be leaving comments on every YouTube channel, leaving comments. This is the activity of someone who don't have shit to do in their life. So once again, the new training, it'll be below and it'll be affordable. And everyone who bows into the new training, when you're ready for the corporate papers, what you need to do is send me like, hey, I'm ready for the corporate papers. And whatever you pay for the training, we will deduct that from the price of the corporate papers. So you can jump in there and we'll be doing that because we're about to get into some more training. Like, I, I gotta tell you, I love my new place. I love it. And you know something else that's funny? All of these clowns on the internet think my life is over. I've been in this, everyone in this building, it ain't cheap, that's first thing. So everyone in here is doing something. You know, the one bedrooms are the cheapest in this place. I'm in a three bedroom and Let's put it this way. You ain't up in this camp making $30,000 a year. You're not up in here. These are not for you. And I, I, cute little Asian girl, and there's just some hot ass women in this. Oh my God. I'm like, damn. That's, there was this cute little Asian chick. Uh, she helped me in the elevator and everything. And th this is something else. No, no, none of these people have recognized me from TikTok and YouTube and Instagram. You want to know why? Because they have lives. They're out here living. They're going on trips. They're eating fancy dinners. They're not sitting on the Internet leaving comment after comment on some random dude's page because he wants attention. So my life has not changed. My, li my physical life, my life in the real world ain't changed one bit. It ain't changed one bit in my internet life. That's changed a little bit. I got everybody talking about me. And what I'm going to continue to do is drop this content, drop this training and just fuck them. Piss them off even more. Cause let me tell you what's going to happen. Some of these people who hate me right now in the future, they're going to love me. You want to know why? Cause I'm getting exposure. I'm getting exposure. And you know, all of these people who are putting up this stuff, because uh, the lead attorney, he put up another video, and I don't know if he even referenced that I could go to jail, but if he did, he's flat out lying and he's doing it for attention. Because everyone's like, how come he ain't in jail? Because I didn't do anything illegal. That's why I'm not in jail. I ain't do anything. And it's just, it, I'm starting to see the comments. It's like, yeah, y'all keep saying he going to jail. When is he going to jail? <laughs> People are starting to like, he ain't going to jail. He ain't going to prison.
it is it's kind of funny. But um, give me some more time because I, I still got a lot of stuff to unpack. But um, we're going to start building single businesses. And once we get that single business up and running, then we're going to add another business and then we're going into the corporate paper stuff. So we're, you know, because I've talked to a lot of my students and a lot of people just have one business. They don't have multiple businesses and multiple businesses. That's advanced level tech tactics. That's advanced level. So we're going to get into that. So the training and this is the thing. This training is already there. Literally, if you hop into training today, you will be working on this training until January. October, November, December, January. You'll be just with, you know, because it's already built out. It's already there. So you've got a lot of stuff to do. It's affordable, and I'm going to start rocking it out. We're going to have different conversations, and we're going to have different um different everything everything's about to get a little different i feel real good i feel really good i feel great i i i mean i love this place it is it's crazy because it's a little smaller than the main level of the house but it's what i need because i don't like it and i just ordered a bunch of art i was going to order I, I didn't know if this was going to fit but this has another sofa and a chair. And I, got, I threw another chair in the bedroom. So this is my living room set that I paid $12,000 for. So, um, cause I didn't want to try to sell it cause I just bought it maybe three years ago. And you know, we get 10, 15 years in the future. Yeah, selling it become an option, but I didn't really want to sell it. And then this, this, this is working. This is working. I'm gonna paint this wall gray. But once again, the new training, once again, you can go ahead and get started. I'm going to give you the instructions and the things you need to do. And yeah, go ahead and rock out. It's below. It's affordable. You can get into it. And I will talk to you guys in the next one.